Hey guys. Okay, we talked about creating a composition using selections and fill, filling in those selections with a color. But what happens when you think that you're running out of room? Or what happens when you just want to work on something new and kind of reposition items, objects, and color and selections in your composition? Let's figure this out. I'm going to make a new project and let's make it a thousand by a thousand pixels at 72 because this is just an exercise and if I start making selections on three different backgrounds I'll make a rectangle and fill it with a color let me get a square and fill it with a color and then make another uh, selection on a different layer. I'll make an ellipse or a circle and I'll fill it with another color. And I'll even use and recolor the background. I'm gonna deselect this, Command D. Let's pick a different color. I'm going to fill the background with that color, Option Delete. And let's look at layer one. And let's make a bigger kind of lassoed shape. Okay, we can fill that color with a third color. And there are our three shapes just kind of intermingling with each other. Now we can deselect this and move them around. We can move them around, rotate them, and scale them up and down and reposition them. Remember, it's good for us to practice things going off the page. Um, it's good in, and adds a lot of interest for your eye and for the viewer to do that. So we can do that. We can also just start repositioning things. We can even change our shapes if we wanted to. We can make really this really thin and wide and have it go almost all the way across the canvas here. But what happens when we think that we're running out of room? We're running out of space. Well, that's when our canvas size comes into play. Photo P and Photoshop call the area that you work in the canvas. And as we zoom in, you can see the edges of those canvases pretty good. I can use my space bar, my hand tool to move around those. But I need more room. I'm going to zoom out for a minute. And now I'm going to add more room to this canvas. But before I do that, I want to screenshot this because I like where this is headed, but, and I'm going to save a PSD because I want to save uh, the original version. So I want to save, save as PSD here. I'm going to click that and it downloads it to my computer. And I'm also going to do a screenshot of this to submit to my exercises. So I made a screenshot there. Now I can change this file since I've already saved it. I'm gonna to go to image, image, canvas size. And let's click that and see what happens. I have the canvas size, which I've already made a thousand by a thousand pixels. And I have an anchor point. Both of these things I'm going to change. I want to change this to a bigger square, or a bigger square canvas, and maybe even make it a little wider. So I want to go to width, and let's go to 1500 pixels instead of 1000. And I want to add the space, since I'm making it wider, I want to add the space to the right side. So that means I'm going to change my anchor point to the left side, the left side center. And let's see what happens when I do that. So 
that's what happened. I added extra pixels and extra canvas to the right side and I added 500 pixels. And now I see that if I click on my thumbnail here, I can see that I have extra transparent pixels and I need to fill that in again. So I'm gonna go back to my background layer and go to my that yellow color that I picked. There's my history, color history. I'm gonna pick that again. And then I'm gonna fill this rest of this background again. So option delete, because it's the foreground color. I can fill that in. And now I can reposition, resize, and I have plenty of room. Maybe, maybe I wanna start duplicating things. Maybe things start to look like animal heads, or maybe I just wanna develop a pattern of things. There's kind of like an implied line with these dots here. And maybe I can do the same thing with these um, blue rectangles. So now that I have more room, I didn't do that much and this composition completely changed. I moved some things around. I've duplicated some things. Remember, duplicating is very easy. You just hold down Alt or Option and just click and drag with your left mouse button and you can duplicate. I'm going to save this out because I like this too. And this is a really, this is really beneficial for you because it's a quick way of working. When I ask you, when we do our projects, I'm going to ask you for some thumbnails, maybe five or six thumbnails. This is how quickly you could make them. I'm not asking for detail. I'm asking for just really quick and rough ideas. So I'm going to save this now save as PSD and it doesn't save over my first one. It saves a new project entirely. It gives it a new number. And of course, since I'm a good student, I'm going to make a screenshot of this to turn in on teams. There's my screenshot. It has my canvas and my layers visible so I can show my teacher that I'm doing this properly. Now I can even change it from here too. And I can keep going all day long if I wanted to. I can go back to image and canvas eyes and I can change this again. Let's go even wider and see what happens. Let's go to 2000. And this time I'm going to expand this in the other direction. So I'm going to put the anchor point on the right side. There's my width and I'm going to hit OK. Now look at what I have here, that blank transparent grid again. All I have to do is go back to my background. I have that color picked already. So I'm going to fill that in again, Option Delete or Alt backspace on your PC and I can continue going. Oh, I really liked that space. So um, I'm going to rotate one of these blue rectangles and put them over here and actually make this wider and pull this down all the way, even off double click to approve that or the checkbox here to approve that transformation. And let's see what if this was connected to it and maybe made smaller. Almost like it's taking a bite out of the yellow. And we still have those orange dots. Maybe I can expand those too. So I'm going to duplicate those again. Oh, but it looks like one's hiding away. You know what? I kind of like that. It's kind of add some depth to things. And maybe we could even reposition this purple thing too, since that hasn't moved at all. Again, I don't know what this is but 
it gets us to think in an abstract way, right? Or we don't really think about what things are. Let's see what it looks like if we zoom out and scale this entire thing. There we go. And now I can save this out as my third and final composition. Again, this is a really quick way of working. I can save this again, file, save as PSD, and I'll save it as a new file entirely. So I have three files I can pick from and go from there. I also am going to do my screenshot. So I can turn this in and get full points for that. And I am finished. I have now played around with three different compositions. Let's look at all of those. I'm going to go ahead and open up the other two. Open, it's in my downloads folder. Somewhere. Let's go to my list. Here they are, project four and three. And there they are. I have my last one or my first one. Second one, or that's my first one, sorry. There's my second one. And then my final one there. All three of them ready to go. Guys, practice a couple of these and we will see you next time. Take care.